So this is a 15-in-1 USB docking station, but in order to get it to work, we have to buy some other accessories. A 100 watt power brick, because that's uh, the most it can take, and then a USB-C to USB-C cable to deliver the power to the uh, docking station. So let's get started. Put these to the side right now. So here is the docking station. It comes very nicely packed. And then at the bottom, you also get the cable. You get some instructions, but really you won't need them. So here, just to give you an idea, uh, you get two USB, I mean, sorry, two HDMI, display port, ethernet, and then you still get VGA, which is surprising. And then you have uh, the power delivery. This is where you gonna you wanna plug the power brick into and then flip it over. This is just an extra USB-C port. You can put headphones, microphone, um, and then you have two uh, USB 3.1 and then two USB 3, I'm sorry, one USB 3, and then two USB 2.0. So you have quite a few inputs. That's what I like about this. This is the reason why I wanted this is because it has a lot of USB A inputs and that's exactly what I need. And then on the side, you get a micro uh, SD card and a normal SD. And then here, you, this is how you plug in um, a USB-C to USB-C cable, this cable that comes provided to your laptop so you can power the laptop as well. And then give it ethernet and then it connects to all the other inputs. So this is the cable you get. Uh, very sturdy, very nice, very thick, so very happy about that. But you can replace this cable um, if you don't, uh, if something happens to it, just make sure you don't go too cheap because this is what's going to be delivering everything to the laptop. So make sure you get a quality cable. Now here, the power brick that I'm going to use, because like I said, this can take up to 100 watts. It'll output 87 to a laptop, but uh, remember you do have to feed the other inputs power. So this is the Anchor. Uh, it's a Nano. It's 100 watts. It's very nice. It can flip out like so. And then on the back, you can see here it has a picture to the laptop, and then you can plug in a tablet, and then here you have a USB-A. So um, here you go. <clears throat> you max you'll get out of this is 100 watts, but then as you plug in other devices, that will lessen the, the total output of the one uh, output. And the next is the six-foot cable. Here you go. You get two of them in the package, and this is what I'm going to use to run the power brick to the docking station. It's a braided cable, very loose, it's not stiff, very flexible. I want it six foot so I have plenty of room. You get a little band around it so you can tie one up uh, if you don't need it, or I can tie up the excess if it's too, too long, but I'd rather have long than too short. That's always the way to go. And then there you go. And it says it's rated for 100 watts, so we should have no problem. It's a good combo. They're both made by Anchor, so you can't go wrong. It's a very trusted brand. I do have a, quite a few accessories from them. So with that said, let's go test out the unit. Like I said, I'm going to hook it up to my Dell laptop with uh, multiple monitors and a lot of inputs. So I quickly wanted to test this out. So I'm powering two monitors and a laptop. I have a headset. I have a keyboard, a 10 key, um, a selfie light, and a camera, and a speaker bar. The only thing that's not being powered is the mouse. It's actually plugged into the laptop, but everything else is going through the docking station. So let's take a look at the hookups. Now here are the connections. Here are my spaghetti wires. I just threw it together just to see if it would work. Um, the old docking station is actually underneath it. It's actually just the same size as wide, but it's the old docking station is actually a little thicker. So here's what we have. I actually needed another port, so I have another dongle that's out of here. This is uh, not powering the headset. It has its own power, but it does need to be connected to the PC. This is my um, keyboard. And then from here is the selfie light, the um, speaker bar, this is the camera, and this is the uh, 10 key. And then back here, Ethernet, which does work. Um, I couldn't use DisplayPort because I couldn't get the full resolution, so I had to use both HDMI, so this is actually not being used. And then you got the VJ, which I didn't need. This is the 100-watt um, power plugged into a into the wall, and this actually plugs into the laptop. It works. It's been on for about half an hour, and it's just slightly warm to the touch. Not bad at all. So I give this a thumbs up. Hope this helps. Take care.